What's up, coaches? Welcome back to Coach Dino Football. I'm Dandy Nicola. Today, we're going to be talking again by the numbers and how coaches can use sports science to help their team succeed. So last time I showed you wearable sports tech that makes all of this possible, all this tracking of data that we're talking about. But if you haven't seen that video and you're unfamiliar with how coaches can capture player metrics throughout their training, definitely make sure to check that out and we'll put that link below. So as I've said before, this is the kind of measurable insight that takes away all of your guesswork as a coach. Really, who wants to be stuck guessing what they could be working on when they could literally just be looking at data in order to get better? If you're interested in more content like this, just make sure to hit that subscribe button for updates. It really just helps us grow the channel and keeps you up to date on all of our new content that we're releasing weekly. Now onto the video. So right here is the Catapult One app. Uh, it's going to be web-based, so we give you a login. Essentially, you're just going to go to oneapp.catapultsports.com, and you'll be able to see all the data from your session, whether it's a game or practice, and it's going to populate right here to your home screen. So you get entire session overviews for both your team, individual players, and you can really dive into each individual session and uh, you know make it as customized as you'd like. So you can come in and edit it, you can name it anything that you'd like. Say, was it a training or a game? You know, I have right here that this was a win, you know, because we want to see what are some consistencies in wins versus losses for our players. Uh, you can also come in, like I said, it's reading GPS signal. So it's able to see exactly where you're playing that day and can be intuitive with remembering where it all happened. So this is actual GPS signal of, of data that was collected for an individual player. Um, and now we can save that pitch and you know name it anything that we want and it'll remember every time we play there you can come in and you can set splits so divide it up first quarter second quarter see do we have consistencies in our training throughout that time period um, and making sure that we're doing so throughout our training and it'll also remember hey these are the players that were using the pod on any particular training or practice so just easy to set up there uh, as far as each session that you have you can also come in and run reports for your players. Uh, I'm going to go here and do a 30 day, uh, a 30 day overview and report. But again, you can do this for the entire year, a month, a week, however gran granular you want to get with it. Um, you know, you can go squads, essentially breaking up whatever position group, uh, year in school, any way you want to divide up your players, go to an individual check out the metrics and then see where this player stacks up compared to the game average and training average for the rest of the team. So this can just be a really good way of making sure that players are staying consistent. So like, for example, I'll say, if someone's top speed during a practice is 17.2 um, and the team average is pretty similar for both of those days, why do they drop all the way to 10.4? That opens up the door for more conversation with trainers. You know, opens up the door for a conversation around is this player actually trying to their fullest potential like now we actually know these things um so we can have that conversation and maybe have a little bit more dialogue with our players than we would have had previously you can also come in and look at a session so that was more for an individual perspective but if you want to look at your overall team you can do so within the app um let's look at it in a linear fashion and say hey who had the top speed for the day you know, we can make sure that players are set to those standards by doing something called game values. So if we have a really successful game or practice where we say that's now the standard for how fast you run, how many calories you burn, the type of work that you put into a practice, we're going to use that as a game value. And now you're going to physically be able to see the actual shift in color for when you're upholding your end of the bargain or when you're not necessarily performing to your standards. So um, just a good way of making sure that players are accountable on, on a day-to-day -day basis. But also, again, if somebody's not performing to the level that you would expect, you can have a conversation about injury. You can talk to the strength coach about potentially having a, a better program in place for them. Just much more well-rounded uh, you know, introduction to a player's overall health. So you can get into a player's uh, overall performance right here in this player icon. That's where, again, you see the heat map. We can get really granular with a five minute breakdown here. And we can say, hey, your top speed wasn't consistent towards the end of the game. You started out at 14.5 miles an hour, and then you didn't really get anywhere close to that in the fourth quarter. 
Now, this could all be subjective based on a player's game plan or however you had them, uh, you know, use during that game. But at the end of the game, if there's a real pressing issue and they're not upholding that, uh, that top speed that you've set for them, that's something that you definitely want to look into as well. Uh, again, this is just showing you where they are in comparison to the standards that you've set uh, for each one of the metrics that we cover. You know, you can compare athletes. So, for example, this particular athlete can, can be compared to a previous performance that they had. You know, you know that in this one that they were only hitting 92% of their top speed. So something to look into there. But let's say you have a sophomore who you want to uphold to the standard of a senior, right? Uh, you can come in and you can say, hey, we need you to be playing like this by, by the end of your off season, you need to be up to the standard of this individual. Now you're able to physically show them, get them hyped up for the next season. Uh, and it's a really good way to, you know, have players visualize the standards that are being set for them. So a big part of our ability to succeed as coaches relies on us seeing patterns and trying our best to anticipate changes as they come our way. So on one hand, knowing things like a player's top speed and power output can really help us up the ante in a way that facilitates growth and improvement for our players. But we can also look at performance dips or inconsistencies to really help ensure growth and make sure that we're doing it in a healthy and productive way. Now, don't get me wrong. I love seeing some of the one-off metrics. It's definitely cool to see somebody clear, you know, 20, 21 miles an hour. And these stats can be a great look into who's working hard and who's slacking off. But if you can commit to more of a long-term approach towards tracking these metrics, you're not only going to get things like player averages, but you're going to start to see what a successful game or practice looks like, or what sort of metrics separate a win from a loss. As someone who's used it now for you know a couple months with my team, you can definitely get used to the data over time. And once again, the longer and more consistently that you start to collect it, the more insight you have. So also Catapult offers a ton of resources that are really helpful to coaches. They have a new user guide that I've attached along with this video. You would have full support as a partner of Catapult. Um, and also I'm always open to answering questions, learning about new ways that coaches are tracking metrics. So it's really a community that you'd be working with along the way. So that's it for today. As always, if you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover, please feel free to leave me a comment or DM me. I'm at coach Dino FB on Twitter and Instagram. I would definitely encourage just, you know, reaching out if you have any questions. It's always great to hear feedback from current users, as well as hear, you know, any inquiries from people who might be interested in using it. So thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a good one.